everyone, happy new year. Um, I'm still full of cold, <laughs> so sorry about my horrible voice. Um, yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually like really trying to project, you know, because I'm still so, yeah, bunged up and that, yeah, 2019 hasn't started amazingly, but I feel like that's the type of thing, you know, like whiny people say, so I'm not going to say that. <laughs> um, yeah, so today I just wanted to quickly pop on. Um, I've put Little River and 2.0, I'm sorry to keep calling him that, I know I'm really annoying some people, <laughs> um, in, in E.T.'s little basket. Um, and yeah, there's a ton of horrible noise going on outside, so um, yeah, I hope that isn't just really annoying because it's really annoying for me. <laughs> so the main thing that I wanted to chat about today was um, resolutions or like, well, things that I will not stick to but want to. Maybe I should like name it something, I don't know, desires. <laughs> that sounds a bit weird. Um, but yeah, um, I just felt like sort of chatting about my hopes for my Reborn collection in 2019. And, uh, sorry, his ears are so cute. I mean, can you just squish, 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 sorry. Please, Emily, stop it. Um, yeah, so basically... My first and biggest and the resolution that I actually think I will stick to, haha, <laughs> hold me to this guys, is I want to get a girl this year. Um, yeah, a girl did not come into my nursery in 2018 and um, I'm, I have so many beautiful girl clothes, girl clothes, I mean, you know, typ typically what you dress a girl, a baby girl in. Um, and I, I feel like they're just going to waste because, oh, I'm just slipping over there. So there's a bunch of crap over there, so we're not going to, just going to ignore it. Um, yeah, Silky, who's pretty much my only girl, well, she is my only girl. Um, she, I don't know, I don't really dress her anymore. Like, sometimes I'll get her out and, you know, give her a little outfit change, but it's rare she has these um like onesies that I just keep her in all the time and you know I just I just feel like she's too precious to keep getting out and dressing getting out and dressing so yeah I need a girl I need I want a girl um who will be like a little model for all of the cute clothes that I yeah that I have so the second thing is and I've talked about this so many times um, but it's, I, I just really would love a, like, fantasy baby, so, like, a fairy in particular. And I feel like I could merge the two, I could have a girl who was a fairy, you know, and it just, I, in my mind, she's so cute. Um, and my third resolution is to have a baby with open eyes again. Um, obviously I have Seek. Um... But yeah, I haven't, he's the only open-eyed baby I've ever been able to like, I don't know, really bond with, you know? So, um, yeah, so we, to maybe get another open-eyed baby, but that's a very maybe resolution. That's probably one I won't stick to because, I don't know, I'm not really an open-eyed baby kind of, kind of person. I just, I don't know, I feel like... They just can never be as real to me, you know? But at the same time, like, there's something so beautiful about them. And I feel like I'm missing out. <laughs> so, yeah. But, um, yeah, open-eyed baby would be super, super nice. So then, I think it's resolution number four. Um would definitely be to sell some dolls if I'm going to have a new doll. Um, I have, what, six? What, I have River River 2.0, Silky, Seek, 80s, 
and then Otto, who I do count. Okay, so I have six. And, um, yeah, I just feel like that's too many. <laughs> um, I have a small room and they're all in here and they're, they're in a cupboard. Okay, I'll show you the cupboard. They're in that cupboard and I feel like I am too old to have a, a K-pop group on the on the cupboard but like I mean are you ever too old for that face that face right there I don't think you are so yeah it would they're just <laughs> no more will fit in the cupboard Aetis has to sleep in this all the time he has to sleep oh poor child um yeah so Aetis is in this little basket all the time sorry that's my foot how lovely um and yeah, I just feel like I'm drowning in babies, um, which is a pretty nice way to drown, to be honest. Sorry, this got dark. Um, but yeah, I just feel like I have way, 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 way too many now. And, and it's time. I feel like I want to sell two, but I have not a clue. Well, I do have a clue, but I'm not going to say it because it's just, I feel like it's just tempting fate. I'm not going to do it. Um, but yeah, this year I will probably sell one, possibly two babies. Um, yeah, maybe. Maybe baby. Um, so then on that sort of theme, are we on five or are we on six? I don't know, who cares? Um... Yeah, I want to get rid of some clothes. I just, oh my gosh, I have so many baby clothes now. And my sort of baby clothes, like, style has changed so much since when I was first sort of starting with this hobby. Like, I feel like when you're first starting, like, you go into, I don't know, any old store and everything is adorable and you just, like, fall in love with everything. Um, but then when you get into it, like the things that you know or, like ordinary shops sell or, or, I mean like like Tesco or Asda do you know what I mean I feel like they start to become a little bit boring um yeah not all the time like I still have occasionally popped in and got something but I feel like I'm moving away from that kind of kind of thing now um and I do still shop a lot a lot in charity shops and I feel like you find weird and wonderful things in them and that's really really fun um but they're so cheap that I just end up buying so much and um yeah I need to give I need to give some back that's what I always said that I would buy and then like sort of you know recycle it back um but that hasn't happened I've been hoarding stuff sorry there's that there's a water droplet poor thing um so yeah and then last but not least um i want to experience um russian mohair like i've heard so many good things about it and you see the pictures and it's all amazing and it all seems like mis mystical and like secretive and what is this stuff anyway type thing um, but yeah, I would just love to be able to feel it. I'd love to be able to have a doll with, you know, the, this kind of special processed Russian mohair. God knows what it is. Um, but the only hair I've really been, like, exposed to <laughs> is, um, Delta Dawn, which I love. Um, uh, Slumberland and Alpaca. And that's it. <laughs> so yeah that's really not a lot of hair I mean I did go to a doll show and I would love to go to a doll show again this year um but they don't really like tell you a lot of the time oh this doll has this kind of hair this doll has this kind of hair and I, I didn't really feel like any of the dolls had super amazing hair at the Peterborough doll show anyway so so yeah so yes but anyway I've been jiggling this camera so much this must have been really unpleasant to watch 
and a bit dull. I feel like I've rambled about nothing. Um, but I've got, I'm glad I've come on. I just, I really felt like making a video today. Um, and though I will do, hopefully, a lot more with these little twins. I feel like they don't look like twins at all. Um, but <laughs> I'm going with it. I feel like this is, this is twin A on a, you know, hot day. Maybe he went on holiday. You know, he's in Tenerife, he's chilling. And this is a twin. And he is in, like, really high up in the Japanese mountains. And he's a little bit cold. Do you, do you see it? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm clearly delirious with, uh, with cold. Um, but yeah. Thank you for listening to my ramble. And we shall see you in a far more interesting video.